All right, today we're gonna make goat cheese stuffed chicken breast. So I got two chicken breasts here. I'm gonna go ahead and butterfly them, pound them out, and I'll show you how we do the rest of it. All right, it's a butterfly. And then cut the big part in, straight down. Pull it apart, get a little spread going. Don't cut all the way through, because you're gonna pound it out. Do this one real quick. There we go. Perfect. See how it's almost perfectly flat? It's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna saran wrap the top of it, and then I'm gonna pound it out nice and flat. All right, got my trusty mallet here. Alright, now that they're pounded out, I'm gonna go move these out of the way and then start on my filling, which is gonna be goat cheese and red onion and spices. Guaranteed to be phenomenal. Alright, for the stuffing of my chicken, I'm gonna need red onion, which I'm gonna only use half of this onion, and I'm gonna slice it thin and I'm gonna saute it and mix it with my goat cheese. But I want this this length. Nice and thin, just the way I'm looking for. All right, see how nice and thin that is? That's gonna cook up real nicely. All right, I got some olive oil in my pan, about two tablespoons. I'm gonna throw my onions in for the start sauteing them down. And I'm also going to use the same pan to cook my chicken. So do not discard the pan once we're done. All right, here's the onions in the pan sauteing down. This should take about five to seven, maybe ten minutes, depending on how you're cooking. Me, I like to cook at a good medium heat, medium high. Quicker the better for me, and I don't know why, it's just the way that I am. I can make a good meal 30 minutes or less, pretty much. All right, since our onions are sauteing, we're gonna go ahead and mince two garlic cloves. That looks good for what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and add that to our onion. Well, let's go ahead and add that to our onion. Give a little stir. Mmm, you can smell this, that garlic hitting that oil mixed with the onion. Just fantastic. Almost to where I want it. See how it's getting all nice and noodly like? That's getting more exactly that translucent for a red onion that I'm looking for. All right, now that the onions are done, we're gonna pull these off, and we're gonna work on the goat cheese to smear on the chicken breast. All right, here we have our goat cheese. We're gonna open the package, we're gonna take about half, and then we're gonna put it in our bowl, and we're gonna mix it till smooth.
It doesn't take some finesse, but it will get smooth. All right, now that the goat cheese is mixed, I just want to do this little sample, see if I can spread it. So I'll just gonna see if I can't spread it on the board. That looks exactly what I'm looking for. That was spread nice on the chicken. All right, now we're gonna season our chicken with some of my basic spices here. We've got salt, pepper, a little bit of thyme. And one of my personal favorites, paprika. All right, now that that's on there, we're gonna go ahead and spread our goat cheese. All right, as we're spreading, you can see it's a little crumbly still, but that's all right. Get a nice portion in there. I'm making enough to do two chicken breasts. So perfect date night dinner. All right, you see how that looks great? It's almost perfectly the way I want it. Now I'm gonna take my red onion, straight out the pan, and lay it right here across. All right, this is to be the sweetness you need for that goat cheese. All right, now we're gonna roll it up tie it off and get it ready for the pan. All right, let's roll it up. All right, and then we're gonna tie it off. All right, let's roll it up. Now remember, you're messing with raw chicken, so make sure you wash your hands and the utensils that you're using all right, we're going to roll this up. I'm going to tuck this last little bit in. I'm going to need that, make it easier to take apart. All right, we're going to put that one off to the side. I'm going to get our other one ready. All right, we're going to add our chicken to our pan. I can hear the sizzle. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Get a nice little crust on the bottom. We're just going to roll it. Cook on that side. All right, so every side is coated just the way I want it. And then I'm going to put a lid over it and I'm going to let it steam and cook at the same time for about seven to ten minutes before I check it. All right, let's check it out. Oh, look at that. That's a little dark. That's exactly okay. Good. Pull it off. Go ahead and rotate it a little bit. And what I'm going to do here, since it's kind of burning a little bit, I'm going to add some water. That way it'll just help it steam and cook a little faster. So as you see it steaming, everything's going to put the lid back over it. Give it about another seven minutes and it should be done. All right, so we're gonna pull our chicken off the fire. We'll go ahead and set it on the cutting board, let it rest for a couple of seconds, and then we're gonna cut into it so that way you can see what it looks like. All right, the chicken's been resting for about two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull the string off. Alright, now that it's unwound, 
I'm gonna take my knife. Then slide it out of bias. All right, so just so you guys can see, this is the goat cheese stuffed chicken. You're gonna go ahead and plate this, serve it with whatever you like. On tonight, I'm gonna do rice, veggies, and bread. Please enjoy.